Half a Day is a short story by Nagib Mahfouz. Published as part of Mahfouz's 1991 collection The Time and The Place and Other Stories, the story departs from the social realism for which Mahfouz became famous, instead employing elements of allegory and surrealism. The narrator is a young boy. He alongside his father is walking to school. It is his first day of school. He is happy to be in new clothes. His father reassures him that the day represents an important step forward in his life and school is not punishment. When they arrive at the gate, they can see the courtyard, vast and crammed full of boys and girls. The boy hesitates and clings his father's hand. His father gently pushes him to enter the schoolyard. Upon stepping into the yard, the boy sees the faces of the other boys and girls, but feels he is a stranger who has lost his way. One of the boys comes near and asks him who brought him to school. When the narrator replies that it was his father, the boy states that his own father was dead. The school gate is closed. Some of the children burst into tears. The bell rings. He and the other children are divided into groups and welcomed by a lady who advises them to accept the school as their new home, where there is everything that is enjoyable and beneficial to knowledge. The narrator and the other students enjoy their new environment. They eat delicious food, take a little nap, and wake up to go on with friendship and love, play, and learning. He gives an account of his school day as an allegory for human life, with its ups and downs, trials and tribulations. When the bell rings to announce the passing of the day, the narrator with other children rushes towards the gate. He bids farewell to his friends. He looks around but doesn't see his father who promised him to be there. He, then, begins walking home by himself. After taking a few steps, he meets a middle-aged man. He realizes he knows the man. They greet one another and shake hands before the man goes off. The narrator proceeds a few steps. He finds that the street and surrounding have completely changed dramatically. Now he's surrounded not by gardens, but by crowds of people, cars, and tall buildings. The transformation indicates the effect of modernization and urbanization in radically changing the face of the city within the lifetime of one man. He is alarmed and more desperate to reach home than ever. He tries to cross the busy street. A young boy comes up to him, addressing him as grandpa. Thank you for watching.